for years. I have seen people put obviously fake pets into their YouTube thumbnails, and while none of them really look that cool, it got me thinking. What if you could actually add custom pets and items into the game? Now, this is something that I've been wanting to do for years, ever since I first started seeing texture packs in Minecraft videos. Now, over the years I've tried multiple times to do this, but each time I would fail. Until now, because we might have just gotten it to work. Now, this all started last September when, out of the blue, DragonX, the creator of PXI Fusion, sent me a DM saying that he had figured out how to change the textures of pets. Now, I was completely surprised by this because while I had mentioned to him that I had wanted to do this in the past, I had pretty much lost all hope that this would actually be possible. He sent me a very simple custom texture that he had done, and sure enough, this was exactly what I had been looking for. So I sent him a spine for Sivertus X Aquapot crossover that I had gotten made last time I attempted to make custom pets, and it actually worked as well. Now that we actually had a way to get custom stuff in game, we now needed to make custom items and pets so that we could have them in game. I started off by trying to make the at the time leaked Viper Cuff a reality by swapping pieces of the Plushkin spine for pieces of the Viper Cuff spine. And while it looked absolutely horrible, it was a fine start. Next up, I created a buddy that I had wanted to see in the game for years, a golden snuff. Now, this one was a little more complicated to make, but the spine for it ended up looking really good. I also worked on a few ones that were pretty easy to make, including this lightsaber and this scrapped version of the cosmic wand. The final buddy that I would make was this realistically colored Tasmanian tiger, and after this, I would create a combination of her galaxy and the astral dragon with help from Clavertina 2 on the Prodigy wiki. Now, you might be thinking, if you originally made this in September, why would you wait an entire year to post about it? And, well, that's because this method that we use to get the custom textures is super unreliable. It's broke for weeks at a time, and whenever I got to the point where I thought I could make a video on this, the extension wouldn't seem to break again. And it's not actually the extension that's breaking, it's actually Prodigy's code that's preventing it from working. It seems that Prodigy randomly will make it so that the extension doesn't work, and then it will randomly allow it to work again. So now that we know this, I will try to keep the comments updated on if this is still working in the newest updates or if it's broken. So before commenting that this isn't working or something, please read the pinned comment to see if I have updated it or not. But with that established, I'll sh now show you guys how you can do this yourself. Alright, so to do this, you are going to need a couple of links. First off, you are going to need this link to a Google extension on the Google Web Store called Requestly. I'll, lay I'll leave a link to that below. Also, you are going to need to be able to go in Requestly, so... For that, you're going to need this. It's called app.requestly.io. I will leave that in the description as well. So it will bring you here to home. All you need to do is go over to rules and you need to press create a new rule. And for this, you're going to do replace string. So change this from contains to equals. So we have URL equals and then our url that you're going to be using for this is the buddy or the pet or item that is already in the game so i can help you with that if you join my discord server um so this is the cdn link i'm going to be using the spine for sparkle snuff so if i just copy this and then i paste it right here so we'll put that here we will also copy and paste that in here so these first two need to be the link from the prodigy cdn and then the second link that we're going to need is to our new image so i'm going to be using this link which is to a golden snuff which is what i want um snuff to look like now so if we go ahead and put this with here so now the width should be your second link we'll go ahead and press save rule and then we'll go back to rules you can see the replace dash 175 i'm not going to say the rest of the numbers that is has a status as on so you want it to have a status as on if you want it to work 
So now all you have to do is go into Prodigy. So I need to reload the page. If you are already logged into Prodigy, you will need to reload the page in order to see these. So once you log on to Prodigy again, that pretty much says that um, the extension is now active on this Prodigy version. So we are going to log back in. And if you're already wearing the thing, you should see a pop-up in the top right. But since I am not wearing Sparkle Snuff yet, um, I'm not going to see this just yet. So all you have to do from here, the extension should be active. So all I have to do is scroll down until I find Sparkle Snuff. So here it is. Let's go ahead and look at it. And there we go. So. This, you can see, is Sparkle Snuff. You can see the request lead did go through in the top right. So if we equip this, um, I haven't made an icon for it yet, so that's why there's no like custom icon for it. But you can see the spine looks different. It looks golden instead of the silver that it normally is. So yeah, that is how you do it. As I said, depending on Prodigy's code, this may or may not work for you. If it doesn't work, go ahead and make sure that it's not working, because I'll have a pinned comment or something and if it isn't working let me know because I need to update the comments then. Also I think that we're going to be making a website where you can go ahead and get the spines or images that you can use in game. So for example you'd be able to get the sparkle snuff spine and the spine for the golden snuff so if you wanted to use that you would be able to use it in game. Any of those you'd be able to get in the website. I'll leave a link to the website in the description. At the moment, we only have about five spines or custom stuff that you can use. And also in Requestly, you can only use up to five textures at a time. So if you have more than five, you'd, had a, you'd have to pay. So if you want to do that, you can, I guess. But just a little warning. If you want to make your own, feel free to do that. I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial I'll make on how to make custom spines. I use something called Ibis Paint X if you're curious. It isn't too hard to learn and I think that it works pretty well. And the last thing I want to say, use this at your own risk. I have used a few spines that were like faulty in a way and it ended up breaking some of the spot or some of the image generation on my account for a while. So I would suggest not using this on your main account um, if you're going to use some of the spines that could potentially break something. Um, the one that I used was a Regalaxy one and it just made it so that I couldn't see pretty much any pet. So if that happens, uh, I warned you. So I would really only suggest using this on an alt account. But yeah, that is pretty much all I need to say about this. So that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and bye.